California. Turns out I was a psychic astrologer. I mean, all bets are off at a certain point. At a certain point, you kind of let it go. You know what I mean? Like, what battle are you going to fight, right? I can hear the sound. My name is Jessica Lignato. I'm an astrologer. I'm a medium. And I do psychic or intuitive work as well. Welcome to my home. This is my home. I have a long hallway. Would you like to walk down it with me? Sure. OK, come on. I have a full-time private practice. I have a weekly horoscope through the San Francisco Bay Guardian, and I love what I do. I love my job. Yeah, it's my dream job. So what I'm reading is these guys on the outside here. Those are all astrology guys. articulates what those things are that you need to work with, and what those things are that are malleable, and you can choose to change. And I think that that can be incredibly helpful, just in navigating life. I like my home to be a sanctuary. From room to room, I feel like I create a really different feeling and I'm really invested in my home being comfortable. My aesthetic's definitely my own. I don't know that everyone would be comfortable in my space, but I love it. I love, I love stuff a great deal and I love the stuff in here. I would say I'm very culturally and ethnically Jewish. It's very close to my heart and it's a huge part of who I am. It says above my stove that we serve kosher only. I don't keep kosher, but I think it's beautiful. I just love having a Jewish kitchen. If not in substance, then at least in style. This is my grandparents at my parents' wedding. The kippah on his head is the kippah on my hands. My father is from Baghdad. My grandma was quite a looker back in the day, I gotta say. They moved from Baghdad to Israel when the Jews were asked very politely to leave, I believe is how the story went. I actually have this brisk dress I can show you. It's a beautiful silk white dress and a little bonnet. Where I keep it is in the vanity because where else would you keep a white silk dress? And this is the brisk bonnet. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? I keep it because I'm sentimental, because I think it's gorgeous and it's a piece of family history, but it also feels historical to me, you know? When I have it displayed, friends come into my home and tell me, wow, that's incredibly creepy. <laughs> so I have learned to creep people out only when necessary, and this isn't necessary. I am not related to a lot of sentimental people, and I am very sentimental, so I love the photos. Look at this picture. These are my parents. Isn't that just the greatest photo you've ever seen? My mother is the firstborn to Holocaust survivors from Poland. That was in the, the earliest days of their relationship. I was raised with the Ashkenazi side of my family, majoritively. Every Friday night, we would have Shabbos dinner, and after dinner, my grandfather would take my brother and I downstairs, and he would tell us stories of the Holocaust. I have a high tolerance for being around other people's pain, and that's probably a result of you know, the people that raise me and the environment that I'm from. It's uh, the in loving memory light and I, and I always have it on for the medium work I do. It is a Jewish tradition that I use every day. I like to honor the dead every day. I really like there to be some sort of function associated with the way things look. And sometimes the purpose is simply to create joy to my eyes and senses. So sometimes the purpose is simply to be having fun with it. Even these ladies, what they are doing here is first of all reminding me that ladies are lovely. And the other thing is they're just, you know, they're looking over me while I'm showering. I mean, it's just a nice thing to have around. Oh, I do have one last thing I can show you. It is me as a baby with my mother's parents. It's amazing because of the Jufros on that I am being flanked by. It's clearly influenced me. Great deal. <laughs> My grandmother, I call her every week, we talk once a week, and she's always like, how's the crazies? Because for her, anyone who would see me is a crazy. I think a lot of times people want to write off what I do, the psychic stuff, the astrology stuff, as silly, as not really real. Making an assessment before you've had an experience doesn't really make sense. It's just like thinking you know about Jews because you've seen a Seinfeld episode. Do you know what I mean? It's not accurate. I love Jewish things. I love having a Jewish home and I don't mean this religiously, which is why I was so concerned about how I was going to answer your questions about being Jewish because I'm wildly Jewish in a way, like I'm wicked Jewish, but it's it's the culture, it's the aesthetic, it's the tradition, it's not the re religious conviction. 
weirdly. But, you know, we'll see how that goes.